Hello, my name is Katie Kelly. I'm a bridge design engineer and a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers. Today, I have a civil engineering challenge for you. How can you build a marble run that makes a marble move as slowly as possible? You can find the written instructions for this activity at discovere.org. There are three constraints to keep in mind with this challenge. One, the marble has to keep moving through the entire run. Two, the run needs to change direction at least three times. And three, it must take a minimum of 10 seconds for the marble to travel the whole track. Here are the materials you need. One marble, items to build the marble run with, like cereal boxes, paper towels, or toilet paper tubes, paper cups, and so on. Try to use all recyclable materials if you can. Scissors, tape, a stopwatch or timer, and a raised surface to build your marble runs against, like a wall, a chair, or a big piece of cardboard. Whatever you decide to use, make sure you get permission before you start this activity. As you start brainstorming possible designs, think about the forces that will come into play, like momentum and friction. Momentum is a force that keeps things moving once they've begun, while friction is a force that slows things down when the objects rub up against one another. Experiment with the materials you've collected. Here are some questions to consider. What kind of surfaces might create friction and slow the marble down? If a steep incline makes a marble pick up speed, what happens if the slope is barely noticeable? How does changing the marble's direction impact its speed? Remember, you need to do this at least three times in your course. Sketch a few designs to see how you wanna build your marble run. You also might wanna build out a few pieces at a time so you can adjust it as you go. As every engineer knows, what looks great on paper doesn't always work out once you've actually started to build. When you're ready to test, set your timer for 10 seconds. Your goal is to make the marble take at least that long to roll through your entire course. Watch the marble carefully. Where does it speed up or slow down? Does it pause or get stuck anywhere in your track? After the first run, make some changes and try again. If the marble gets stuck, think about how you can adjust the design to keep it rolling. If the marble goes too fast, maybe you can add speed bumps or change the slope of the track. And if your test run passes the 10 second test, celebrate your success, then challenge yourself to slow it down even more. Again, you can find instructions for this and many more at discovere.org. And most importantly, have fun as you run with this challenge.